Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan. Let's get into Love and Marriage DC. Let's go. So Joy and Winter are meeting. Winter is really not feeling Joy at all, but she does have to listen to her. Joy is telling Winter that she appreciated how you should came and apologize to her for everything she went through on the Winter Wonderland trip. Now Winter's not taking kindly to that. Joy is ten toes down about black, and I do believe that Joy deserved an apology because even though they all had their stuff, nobody came up to her like Terry, right? That was a lot. So Ashley has thrown a painting party at her house for the girls except for Joy and they're talking about everything and at the end of it, Irena asks uh, Ashley like, would she talk to Joy? Eventually, Ashley said yes. But she doesn't really know why she's doing this again. And she also says because she doesn't like Joy's husband, they'll never be friends. And the only thing I can, like the only reason she doesn't like Clifton is because he kind of leaned up a little bit in her face. At the basketball game, let me know if I'm tripping. Jamie is still dealing with being retired and letting the police mental go. Um, he said he has this recurring dream and when he goes to protect himself, it doesn't work right and then he invited other policemen to come and they're pretty much going through the same things because they're saying everything that you see as that type of policeman you can't forget it jamie also asks do they have a problem with drinking um some people said no but the therapist was like unaliving yourself is very high in uh, police work and very high police work in dc so let's just hope that he can keep it together because we love Jamie. So now Joy is talking to Clifton about her talking to Ashley. He's trying to figure out what are they going to talk about. She doesn't know. And then he's like, well, what if y'all get cool? What is that going to mean for me? Because he really can't be cool with Quick because Quick is mad at him for whatever happened with Ashley. Right? And then it's like, it never should have happened anyway. Because Joy is right. Quick and Clifton don't really have any problems. It's just the fact that Ashley inserted herself into that basketball game that caused the problems. So Ashley is sitting here working on her audiobook and it's coming to a really hard part talking about her mom and she's having a hard time doing it. Get somebody else to do it. They got people for that, right? And she talks to Quick about it and she says her mom hasn't read the book. Her mother doesn't want to take accountability for what Ashley's story actually is. And that's the problem with her at this point. Winter is feeling a certain way because Yusha had apologized to Joy and Joy needed an apology. After the way Terry just kind of tore into her on that trip, somebody needed to apologize to her for that. But now Winter really feels like Yusha would not have her back and he will hold her more accountable than he holds everyone else. But he says he holds her to a higher level but she says, I'm still human, and if I can be supported by you, I will be by myself. And they are over. <laughs> I feel like these ladies can come together to be friends or whatever, but there is a trust issue there, right? Joy has mentioned that. And the problem is, Ashley told her friend about Joy being married to Clifton. And Joy was telling Ashley that in a friendly way. But Ashley said that she told because she was pissed she apologized but she was pissed so she did that on purpose so ashley is the root of all this that has happened had you not told anybody about joy and clifton being married i don't think we would be here right now and you told because you were upset why were you upset y'all that's all i got for love and marriage dc let's get in the comments and talk about it it's your girl millie chan i'll talk to you later bye